financial pill is the aspect of your life that challenges you the most, then I urge you to reorient your beliefs around the issue of money. You see, many people think that all they need is money. The yacht, the mansions, the first million. But having financial wealth is about the value that you give to the world, not just the value that you receive. And so you must continually invest in yourself. You've got to grow in every single way. I promise you this, if you focus only on making your first or your next million alone, you ultimately won't live a harmonious and fulfilled life. Instead, focus on providing a million dollars worth of service and value to the world. Then, I promise, you'll have the life of your dreams. Every single thing, from a pine tree to a Porsche, to your body is comprised of 99.99999% what? Energy. energy. Beautiful. And so, is your house energy? No or yes? yes? Is your money energy? No or yes? yes? Yes. Your money is nothing more than the amount of energy, paper energy, that you have in your pocket or purse. Now, you see, what we need to do is realign our thinking around currency or energy or money because many of us have been conditioned to believe that it's not spiritual to want to have a big fat wad in your pocket. <laughs> Some of you need to get your mind <laughs> where it is supposed to be. Um, <laughs> we've been conditioned that it's not spiritual. We think that to be spiritual, we have to wear white robes and to eat legumes and burn lots of sage and never have sex. If that's spiritual, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> and neither do you. Now, 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 is wearing white robes and eating legumes, is that spiritual? Yes! That's one way to be spiritual, if that's what trips your trigger. If, that, if that's what excites you, that's one way to be spiritual. But if you rather wear Armani and listen to you too, that's pretty spiritual as well. Right? I mean... If you go to every great tradition, all of them, all of them, and let me just talk about, about three of the big ones, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. All three of them use the Old Testament. False or true? All of them use the Old Testament. On the seventh day, the creative source stepped back and looked at his handiwork and said it all was what? All of it. All of it. Anytime you damn any part of creation... You damn God. Because where is God not? Where is spirit not? Where is energy not? It's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. And so we need to realign our thinking around money. Money is not the totality of wealth. But think not that you can grow to your full spiritual capabilities in today's world without a certain amount of money. You can't. You can't. You can't attend events like this one without a certain amount of money. You can't go and study different cultures. You can't go to sacred sites. You can't read the books. You can't do the things you need to do to expand into your full spiritual capability without a certain amount of money. If you're with me, say yes. Take a moment to think about the financial pillar in your life right now. What are some of your beliefs about money? What kind of financial picture do you want to create in your life? How much money do you need to achieve your goals?